I would like to welcome you to this overview video for Asset Sketcher 1.0 and this is a major release um, update for the um, version 0.33 and um, in this video I'm going to show you what's new and what you can expect from this release. So first of all if you want to update um, it is important you um, run the Asset Sketcher fix. So um, since this is a major update, I have changed a lot um, at, the, at the internals and um, this has a complete new code base. And if you're updating, just type in space and then Asset Sketcher um, 1.0 version fix. So this will update all, your, all the lists to the new version and also update all the assets in your scene. Okay. So apart from that, I'm going to show you the new modes here. For example, we have paint mode and um, grid mode, which you know already. So paint mode is just um, you can paint assets into your scene. Um, with these parameters here, you can customize how the assets are set in your scene. And that's it. you can delete them, uh, change the brush size and so on. You know that. So the next mode is the grid mode and here again the grid mode is well known and you can just place objects into that grid here. And the new mode I'm going to show you is the scale mode. So what is the scale mode? Um, the scale mode lets you place object into your scene as the others too, but you can also set the size and the orientation of your, um, of your asset directly. So that way um, by enabling the use everything as canvas op uh, option here, you can just easily stack up a few um, boxes here, create this banana and place it somewhere. And you are very precise how you place objects. You can disable the scaling and just set the orientation or otherwise you can just set the scale and no orientation here. Okay, this is the new rotation mode, um, uh, the new scale mode, sorry. So the next thing I want to show you is, um, or are the categories. So right now um, you're able to create categories. So if you want to better organize your asset list here, just create a category which has a name, let's say trees or um, yeah, trees for example. And this will create an empty list here. Now go over to all assets, select for example grass and say you're uh, and add it to the trees category. So go over to trees and you see that they are displayed here. You can create as many um, categories as you like. Um, bushes. And you can also have multiple assets in multiple or one asset in multiple uh, categories. So the grass is now in trees and it's also in bushes. Um, you can remove them by just remove from active category. You can delete categories and organize your assets that way a bit better. Okay, what else can be done? Um, let's say you want to use this asset library in other blend files, then just um, create a new blend file. Let's say we delete everything, save it um, somewhere. It's important to save it if you want to import uh, the library and then just press the import asset library button, select your assets or the blend file where the assets are stored and just hit import asset lib. This will create all the um, assets here and it will also create an asset sketcher library scene where all assets are in. That way you can easily um, create one asset library and reuse it in many blend files. So let's say you want to add them here, just select it, um, create this preview and you're good to go. Okay. So Another um, new feature I have added is um, R physics. So let's say you want to add objects to your scene and 
you're placing them here um, and you want them to fall this um, slope down here and place very accurately. So currently it was not possible or you have to do it manually or set up Blender's physics which can be uh, sort of cumbersome but um, in this version you have a new operator which is called calc physics. Just select the obje objects you want to calculate by using the selection button here and then just hit the calc physics button. You now can press escape at any time and um, they're perfectly dropped onto the ground and set up. So um, you have two options here. You can set the friction if you set it to zero and set calc, you will see that it's very slippery here. Um, you can just undo everything you've done and you can set the um, time scale. So if it's a smaller number, it will be more accurate, but it will also take more time to calculate. So that's it um, for the physics here. Um, I have removed the assets, uh, the, the canvas list here, so you don't have to set up any canvas objects you want to paint on. You can basically paint on everything that is not an asset. So, and if you also want to paint on assets, just hit the use everything as canvas button. So that way you can even paint on assets themselves and use them as canvas too. Um, we have now this asset preview. so. Right uh, earlier you didn't have it, now you have an asset preview which will show you the asset directly into your scene. And that's basically it. So um, if you want to update to the new version, just head over to the Blender market, um, redownload it and install it. Run the version fix, which is important, um, so you uh, everything is updated properly. And um, if you want to purchase the add-on, feel free to do so. I hope you have fun with it. So thanks for watching and goodbye.